Hey, Joe, <coughs> excuse me, Joe Gill here, and I'm here to talk to you about Krakow, Krakow, Poland. Um, I was there basically in 2010, uh, beginning of July, like July 6th, 7th for about five days. Basically, it's pretty uh, legal and decriminalized. There were, uh, um, there's a little bit of all, all over. You can kind of go on a website. You can kind of, I do have a, a little printout here from long ago. It's to an old uh, kind of blog board from uh, DexterHorn.com. Uh, it's no longer there, you know, so don't even go to it. It's um, It's been taken. And um, it had a little blurb, and this is kind of where I got some information. You can, I think you can also, like, go online and, and look up things. But one of the places I went to was Nightclub 37. Um, the town of Krakow, literally the city center, is just actually a little square. So uh, within that square, there's a bunch of bars, nightclubs, well, pubs. I don't know about nightclubs, but restaurants and stuff like that. So you kind of want to stay in that little area. Or near it and this nightclub 37 is basically kind of a you know a small brothel brothel and it was kind of towards the right side of the square if you were facing south looking up right side of the square kind of going a little bit northeast a little bit outside it's pretty much walking distance because I sort of stayed at the hotel kind of off to that side and you know it's probably about a 20 25 minute walk I just don't know the exact address so once you get there, if you want to go check it out, you might have to, oh, I don't know if you feel comfortable or maybe look it up in the phone book. In this thing, it said you can kind of look up place, different places in the phone book and all that or whatever, maybe ask. But it's, um, it's, it's not too far. Basically, um, it usually has about three or four girls that are um, fairly decent looking. They're all right. I um, I was with two different gals there, three different times. I was with one gal tie. I remember there, one gal twice. One gal was named Agnish, Agnishka. I was with her twice because uh, I really liked her. She kind of had a good, you know. Oh, she had a good feeling, Jack and Danny, if you know what I mean. But anyway, basically the going rate right there, uh, or back then. Um, that's always one of the changes if, you know, if it's been more than two years since I've been there is the price, but it's about 50 bucks. The money right there is called the Zoltai. So that and this is around like 120, 150 Zoltai. And then that was for a half an hour. Then it was about, uh, a hundred dollars for, uh, an hour. So that's either rate. Right. It would be 50 or a hundred. I was with a gal named Eva one time, and I was with Agnishka twice. Eva was kind of a little bit of a heavy set gal, so, you know, it's either or. So that's one option. Another option I went to that I didn't even, I didn't even mess around was called a place called the Pussycat um, Club. It's actually a residential house in the residential neighborhood. And that was actually to the north of out, just outside of the downtown square. And it was actually in a residential house, but it's got a big, ne it's got a neon sign. It says Pussycat. And what you're going to go into is like a house. Now, when I was there, it was during the World Cup. It was kind of during the finals or the end where uh, Germany was taking on Spain. So they had the World Cup on. So I went in there and sat down. I think it was drinking a water. And I was just going in there and feeling out. And I was the only guy in there. And so the host lady or the madam was getting a little bit pissed off. And it's like, well, do you want me to bring the lineup? Do, are you here to, and it's like, are you here to watch the game? Or are you here to, and she was giving me an attitude and I already sensed that I didn't want to be there and all that. So I go, yeah, go ahead. But how much does it cost? She said, what do you mean? How much does it cost? And I go, I, I want to know the price. And then she's all saying, well, it's, it's this, this. And she kind of quoted me like, a hundred, a hundred bucks for a half an hour or 125 for a half an hour and like 200 or 175, 200 for an hour. And I said, you know what? It's like, well, are you going to pick a girl or do you want? And even the girl also looked like they had kind of like a solemn look or sort of like a, you know, like a dirty look, like almost like they didn't want to be there, you know?
like a, a little bit of a sense. I sensed an attitude with them, you know. So anyway, I said, no, that's too much. I go, forget it. And then, and I just thought, you know what? I'm not going to be pressured by this madam or whatever. And I said, just charge me for the drink and then I'll, I'm going to be on my way. So as the girls started walking away, and she brought out probably maybe about 10 girls or something like that. Um, one girl gave me a dirty look and just went, you know, just went. And I'm like thinking, fucking bitch. So I don't know. That was that place. I mean, I didn't go there. I didn't, you know. But that's another option. That's another as far as anything else, I didn't look. Another thing I did, I saw when I was actually coming in and checking, because our first, my first hotel didn't work out, so I went and stayed at this veal pool, and I walked past and I saw like a little coffee shop sort of brothel thing. And I glanced and peeked in, and they were trying to beckon me, and I said, okay, that's an option to get laid, so that's an option. And that was like, um, again, along the square part, and was walking down the right side right outskirt of it was walking down a main street going down it was off to your side if you were to see a map of of krakow like a city center of crack you you would know what i'm talking i know it's kind of confusing when i do all this stuff in my videos you know but anyway so that's another option again you can go on uh, you can uh like uh, do a, a search and you possibly find out more information or you can just ask around um you can uh if you're gonna pick up if you're gonna go to bars and try to pick up i wouldn't recommend on on local polish gals they're pretty clannish they're not gonna um they're not gonna um be receptive responsive you might have luck with like other tourists like say like from elsewhere in europe if you happen to run into them or or uh australia <laughs> anyway Point of safety, though. Uh, do not, if you're around downtown area and a couple of girls approach you and say they want you to go have a drink with them and they make it look like they're going to make it look like they're kind of picking up on you. It's a trap. What happens is you go into the bar, they'll order drinks, they'll send you the bill and you're going to find out it's about like 40, 40, 45 to like 55, 60 bucks for one drink. So let's say there's two of them. So you order yourself or let's say like you're with a buddy and you order four rounds of drinks. It's going to cost you 200 bucks. Your drink bill will literally come to $200 just for four lousy drinks when, you know, normally, typically it should come to 20 or 25. So don't do it. If you refuse to pay, put up a fuss. They, I hear they give you a little, little bit of a beat down. And another thing is, when you get there, you if you get like a tourist map, which I sort of recommend you do, it's always a good idea. You get a little map in the bottom, you know, little right hand corner of the thing. It will say, "Would you like a drink?" And it says, "Beware of girls, girls going in twos, going around, asking you, to, inviting you to a bar for a drink. You know, it's it's to get you to buy." to pay for, or it's to trap you into buying and paying for overpriced drinks. You will get yourself in that da 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 da, da. So even the tourist map, but it's kind of down there and I didn't find it out till like two days after that it actually, I go, oh, here's the freaking warning right here. So I'm giving you the warning ahead of the bat. That's pretty much only the safety tip. Like I said, it was, as far as that, the areas or the area back then in 2000 was pretty safe. I mean, I was walking around by myself at three o'clock in the morning kind of around just around the outskirts and of the actual town square the city square and all that um <clears throat> other than that um you got nightclub 37 the pussycat and this other like little coffee shop there's other i'm sure there's other venues i, I was only there for a few days if you want do your homework like i said do your receipt research but it was pretty cool krakow was pretty cool i do request i do recommend it it was i give it a thumbs up and uh, drink up and all that. And I suggest you check it out anyway, until next time. I will talk to you later until the next time. Ciao. Bye.